Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for our radio audience here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all could be with us. Also, this is joining us through our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. Well, I think we've all have heard about the popularity of video games, but I think our next segment will make you look at them a little bit differently, especially as you kind of think about the perspective we've definitely had in the past couple of years. We're excited to welcome to our program today is Stanley Pierre Louis to our program. He's the president and CEO of Entertainment Software Association. They just released their 2022 essential facts about the video game industry. I took a sneak peek on their website. We're going to talk to Stanley not only about the findings, but also the changing view of video games, who's playing them, and also how you guys can be able to benefit from them as well. Stanley, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to have this conversation. Well, it is an important conversation, and I think one that prized some people, Stanley. As I mentioned, I was on the website this morning prepping for this, and I was really surprised by some of the findings. First of all, what is the 2022 Essential Facts about the Video Game Industry Study, and, and what were some of the findings that really interested you? Well, video games today represent the preeminent form of entertainment in America. What we try to do in our annual study is capture information about U.S. player demographics, but also the perception of video games. What we found this year is that two-thirds of Americans play video games. That's more than 215 million people. We also found that 97% of people have a positive uh, thought process about video games, which really shows that the perception of video games is on the rise. And I have to say, for myself personally, Stanley, the, the two things that really stood out to me uh, was when the study said that 83% say that video games introduce some of the people to new friends and new relationships, and that 77% of parents were regularly playing video games with their children. I think, you know, for some of our audience, that may sound surprising. So with that in mind, what are some of the, the more unique benefits of video games? Well, you know, one of the unique benefits is really a topic that's front of mind today, which is mental health. More and more Mm -hmm. video game players report that video games provide a lot of benefits to their mental well-being. In fact, 89% of video game players say that video games help with stress relief, and 91% say it helps with mental stimulation, which really goes to show that games can really have that positive mental influence. And that research that we have is backed by studies with other groups such as the Oxford Internet Institute that found that video games can have a positive impact on mental well-being. The other thing that video game players are finding is that video games are really important and helpful in developing important life skills, things like problem solving, teamwork, collaboration, and even softer skills like empathy because when you're playing a character in a game, you really get to see life through someone else's perspective. Did it surprise you one thing that stood out to me, Stanley, was how the demographics were not that split when it came to gender. Did that surprise you that, I mean, when it came to, to gender, that it was, it was pretty, pretty equal? Yeah, women today represent 48% of U.S. gamers. And that trend has been on the rise over the past several years. And I think it really speaks to the fact that everyone is playing games The other surprising thing for many people is that the average age is 33 years old, which is older than most people probably think. But when you think about the various games that are out there, they really span all the genres and span all the kinds of playing that people like to do. Uh, I also think it's important to note that people over 45 outnumber those under 18. So really there is a game for everyone and everyone's playing. What are you finding are the most popular games out there, Stanley? Well, every genre is really exploding these days. With younger and middle-aged players, there's a real passion for racing games, sports games, fighting games. So you've probably heard of the Madden football game by Electronic Arts or Fortnite by Epic Games or even Mario Kart by Nintendo. Those are all popular games. Uh, But so are puzzle games among older players. Older players really like puzzle games because of the familiarity, but they also report it helps with keeping their minds sharp. How has the pandemic, from what you've noticed, Stanley, and what the study kind of reveals, impacted the player engagement? Well, video engagement continues to rise. It was on the rise before the pandemic and certainly surged at that point in time. What we found this year is that 83% of people who play games 
play with others, either online or in person, that number is up 18% since before the pandemic. So video wow. games are really driving people to play together and create that nice connection. Really great findings. So glad to have you on to talk to us about it today, Stanley. Again, everyone, Stanley Pierre-Louis has been our guest, the president and CEO of Entertainment Software Association. They just released their 2022 Essential Facts about the video game industry. This is a must-see. You guys have to check it out. Some great graphics are on the site as well. So, Stanley, where can they go to be able to learn more? You can learn more on our website, theesa.com. That's T-H-E-E-S-A.com. Stanley, thank you again. I really appreciate it and looking forward to having you back again. Thank you. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live, part of our News You Can Use segment here at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care.